My name is Maddie Maxwell Libby, and the show I'll be scratching here is called Coping Strategies for Contemporary Living. So the show is about loosely um, the idea of work and value and how we measure what people's value is and uh, worth is, yeah, in a nutshell. Um, and it's kind of looking at what is the ideology that underpins this idea that as human beings we should all be as efficient and as productive as possible um, and kind of exploring yeah why is quite often people's worth termed only in economic terms how productive yeah or how efficient they are um the idea that time is money uh yeah so it's just very loosely kind of taking taking those concepts and and playing with them essentially um so i chose to do this piece in physical comedy uh, form, partly because that's the genre that I work most in at the moment, um, and also because with a kind of subject matter like this, um, I, mean, I suppose it could be a bit heavy or it could be a bit lectury or preachy, and I don't want it to be any of those things. I don't have a thesis per se, I don't have a particular viewpoint necessarily or a conclusion to any of these things, I just want to play. And I feel that um, physical comedy or using the body uh, and using movement on stage, I think fits quite nicely with um, that kind of ideology that is all about productive product, yeah, productivity and output per hour. I think they kind of fit quite nicely together. So yeah, it's very much just breaking those ideas apart and in quite a silly sometimes uh, metaphorical sense, playing, playing with them. I found Omnibus through Twitter, um, yeah, just through lots of other people retweeting it and through um, certain people, I can't remember who, tweeting about Engine Room. Um, and yeah, I thought that sounded like an amazing opportunity, um, particularly given the space that you have here and doing physical uh, or any kind of movement based work. It's always a luxury to have a big space to do it in so many venues particularly scratch venues and I'm just starting out really so you know doing it in corners of pubs uh, is great um, but it also brings limitations so to be able to really play in a big space is is, uh, is a real privilege so I'm very thankful to be here and it's um, it's really exciting what is next for me what I question um, so most immediately I'm working uh, on an Edinburgh show with a friend of mine called Amanda Litherland. We've got a show called Buffering um, and it's a very experimental um, two-hander comedic piece. Um, just sort of two people doing some comedy on a stage um, with a mix of characters and physical comedy and stand-up um, in Edinburgh at Just the Tonic from the 21st to 28th of August. Um, and then after that, uh, oh, actually, no, before that, I'm scratching some work maybe similar to this at Battersea Art Centre, um, freshly scratched on the uh, 5th of July. Um, and then after Edinburgh, I don't know, it will, it, I will, a lot of it will depend on how it goes tonight, um, uh, how it goes at Engine Room, um, and what people respond to. And I think that will very much dictate how I take any next steps and whether I develop it further or what elements I push and what I don't. Um, but yeah, I will be continuing and hopefully to develop a, a longer solo piece for Edinburgh 2017. Uh, shout outs. Um, I suppose uh, a thank you to everyone at the Soho Theatre for um, their young company lab, which I've worked on for uh, over a year now and that's been a really great uh, place to try new work and experiment. Um, also Rowan's Bowling in Finsbury Park, many people don't know it but uh, it is the best thing ever and if you do like Rowan's I really would strongly recommend you come to my show because you will be in for a treat. <laughs>